hi guys welcome to rondo unfiltered i'm a medical student who does academic advices university life content and i also do med school related content so this video guys you guys have been wanting it and it is finally here i was supposed to have shot it last week but the thing is i had went to this concert and i oversang so my voice went through the roof and as you can see if you guys have watched my previous videos this just not my normal voice but i hope you do excuse me for that one and if you are a returning subscriber to my youtube channel thank you guys guys thank you for the amazing love that you guys continue to show me and this channel and also if you are new to this channel i have a special message that i wrote out to you this is the message i hope you guys see it <laughs> So the message is, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Join the golden squad of subscribers. We post amazing content here. And please do not forget, you are so loved in this channel. Please comment below and like this video. It's a road to 10,000 subscribers. We are aiming big. We are aiming high. So please do subscribe. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how I got a 93% in life sciences. This is in my grade 12 final. I did my grade 12 final in 2021 and do you want to know a secret guys let me tell you a secret before we go into this video right I have never in my life in three years of doing life sciences in high school I have never three years of doing life sciences I have never gotten anything less than a distinction it is it has always been 80 and above and I was really in my final expecting to maybe aim a hundred percent on life sciences but I'm grateful for the 93 percent that I got so I am going to be telling you amazing tips that made me get distinctions throughout throughout high school on life sciences I have realized that the biggest problem for students is you know life sciences is theory based mostly if you find a student who does good on maths they are not that good with mathematics so i'm just going to touch each and every area for those who are struggling with mathematics and other subjects please do look at the other content that i that i did okay so this is it so first things first let us begin with life sciences okay i'm going to tell you the basic things that i always say and i'm not going to dwell much into them because i know you have watched my other content so i'm just going to go straight into it right the basic thing obviously you're gonna do the countdown you're gonna do the weighing of what weighs more and then you're also going to do what i call you know spacing out your timing usually i just prefer each and everyone to do one hour of life sciences a day i don't want you to be putting a lot of hours unless you're going to be writing it next week you see that's when you put more hours so this is how you study life sciences i did mention that life sciences is a theory subject it's a theory subject and it is very different from physical sciences and mathematics okay so what i have seen is that a lot of people do study they study for life sciences they go through the book they know they know the textbook in and out and they also do past question papers most of them right so where is the problem exactly the problem comes in with the fact that when people do question papers and they do textbook there is a big difference that they place in between those things like you learn something and you know what you studied but when you go into the exam room you are coming back with a 30 you are coming back with a 50 you are not coming back with the marks that you're not supposed to do meaning that the problem is now when you go right inside the exam room okay meaning the problem is the question paper is the exam room is what takes on when it's you and that paper it's what takes on to what takes place when you are sitting and it's just your desk and your paper and your pain and your very very smart brain okay so what I'm going to introduce to you guys now is called the Feynman technique and it's a technique that has worked for me when I was doing life sciences, right? So the book that I'm going to say you guys should use when studying life sciences is a study guide. I've told you before, if you're going to be writing your exams, there's no need for you to be using the textbook. You can use the textbook if something is not in the study guide. So the study guide that I'm going to advise you guys to use is understanding life sciences. And I'm going to source out this study guide. So it is important to even mention now that I have created a WhatsApp channel in which I want to be able to give you guys, send this stuff to you guys, send PDFs, send all this material that I, that I talk 
talk about in my videos so please when you are done with this video go into my description get into that whatsapp channel i want to connect with you guys i want to help you guys as much as i can and please do use the resources that i'm putting out there so i'm going to send this book there it's called understanding life sciences it's a very very thin uh study guide and it is so helpful so you you are going to use the study guide for what i'm going to tell you so the Feynman technique is a technique that you 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 are going to use this technique okay you are going to get a question paper and i'm going to show you for example we are going to be dealing with let's say question three i'm gonna put a question three life sciences paper here so that you guys see okay i'm still trying to get animations i'll really love to animate things for you guys to see well but ah uh, girl is developing in the near future we will be there okay so this is the question paper and this is the study guide that you're going to be using so question one you read out your question and then you go out to the study guide and read out the information that is based on that specific question. And then you find the answer to that question and then you paste it under that question. You also view the memorandum, you paste it. So the memorandum and the study guide are going to be useful. So now what you're doing is you know the question and you place um the answer to that question so it means when you go to the exam room you're not going to get lost are you getting what i'm saying right you're not going to get lost because you already know the answer you have practiced this question papers so this technique works with incorporating what you study with the questions so you 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 do this and then when you do this you place it like that when you place it like that it means that now you are going to after you have placed it like that now you are going to study study it like you read the question you read the answers and then you study it there are a lot of uh different ways that people study i also study differently what i use is i use the basic three hours it means i read something and then i recite it and then i review i just use that basic one so you can use that and then when you are done with that you now use the question paper alone and then you ask yourself that question and then you go back and answer it. And then when you go back and answer it, you recall it with your own mind. If you do not recall it, it means it did not stick in here. If it did not stick in here, it means you go and fill in the gaps of what did not stick in. I hope I am speaking in the simplest language possible. I hope this is clear. And I hope that my illustrations are also making sense, okay? So the first step is you are going to find a question paper, question one, you write the answers to question one, you outsource from your, your, your study guide, you also use the ones that are in your memorandum, you put the answers there, so it's like a question and answers, and then you revise those things. You read them through, you revise them, you recite them, and after that, you go back again, but now without the answers. You answer those questions on your own general knowledge based on what, what you remember when you were studying. And then if you feel like you did not answer them accordingly, the information didn't stick enough, you go back to the answers and questions, and then you do what? You review again. So this is how simple this technique is, and I hope it is being understood. Okay, because I'm telling you the best way to get a 90 plus on life sciences and I'm not saying something that I did not use. I'm saying a technique that I have thoroughly used and I was like, yeah, this is the it. This is working. So I know this chip is also going to work for you. So a lot of people now, when I do life, when I did maths, you guys were like uh, physical sciences. When I did physical sciences, you were like, sis, big sis, please do not forget to do a, phys a, a life sciences one. So because physical science, life sciences is theory, I am telling you, if you use this tip, and you use it for geography as well. If you are doing history, do it for history as well, economics as well. I am telling you, you are getting your guaranteed distinctions. Because life sciences is so easy. It's so easy and you expect almost the same questions. So the more question papers that you do and the same, you do them using this Feynman's technique, you are going to go places. I am telling you, I, I, I did not get a hundred percent, but because I'm telling you this, I am expecting you to get one. At least get that seven more percent for me because I got 93% and I got into medical school and medical school, it's that, it's also that. So this is the tip that I used and then, 
other advices that i can give with life sciences is the basic things get in with your calculators know how to draw a pie chart know how to draw a graph also do as many question papers as you can go for the trial question papers a lot of people have been asking me this question they were like um big sis you guys always call me sis i love it because it makes me feel like i have little sisters and little brothers out there <laughs> it's just so nice okay so you were like um when i'm doing trial papers how do i do them what do you mean so what i mean is in the current year which is 2024 you guys went and wrote your trial examinations right your trial examination there was someone who also wrote a different paper in western cape eastern cape Gauteng, Free State, wherever they are, Limpopo. So in total, trial, there are nine papers for the nine provinces from different regions of South Africa, right? So you go and find those nine papers, you do them, then you do the previous three years. Then when you're done with those papers, you can do as more as you want. Invest your time. This is the final round. This is the final time you are writing life sciences I am telling you to go do it and do not forget time management is key. Hey, so for example, after you write your papers, physical sciences, you don't no longer do a lot of meds because you, you, you are done with it. So you focus on that paper. So I'm also going to be doing a video in which I'm going to document the advices that I want to give grade 12 collectively, collectively, like with time management and all those things and how you can just keep up with the exam pressure in each and everything. So please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be posting those things. I didn't want this video to be as long because First of all, I, I do not like long videos myself and I also do not like to give you long videos. So I will never give you something that you do not want, <laughs> that I do not like as well. So I hope this video was helpful. So if you guys also need other advices on other subjects, I am willing to do those videos for you. I am fully available during this exam season because I want you guys to be the best that you can be. I am not building people who are going to perform averagely here. I am building people that are aiming for the highest. And I want to wish you all the best with your exams. And with that, I would also like to have a prayer with you that the God who began a good thing in you shall bring it into completion. And you can do all things through christ and if you have never given your life to christ i want to encourage you it's the best thing that you can do for yourself he helped me through my exams because i feel myself with christ as my stronghold with christ as my strength there's a lot of things that i was able to get through you know this is an important season of your life and i am hoping that you do greatly and from my heart to your heart thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel also follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok and also write me an email if you have anything i do answer those emails i do try to answer as much as i can as quickly as i can so please do write me an email and from myself bye